All right. So in this question, we're being asked to solve, uh, or sorry, to find the derivative of root 2x plus 1 using first principles. So here we go. So that's going to be, the, uh, the derivative will be the limit as h approaches 0. And I'm going to plug in uh, my value, uh, sorry, the, the form of the first principle. So this will be the square root of 2 times x plus h. Now, I will know really, really quickly whether or not people are familiar with function notation if this gets done wrong. A lot of times the people don't want to put the parentheses there, and so they get 2x plus h. The 2 must distribute to the h in order to be doing this properly here. And then minus the function evaluated right there. Now, I'm probably going to run out of room here in just a second, but that's okay, over h. Now, in order to, to, to move further with this, what i got to do, and this is true for almost all of these questions that have got radicals in them in this chapter here, I have to rationalize. So I'm going to multiply... I'm going to, I am going to run out of room here by 2x plus h plus 1 minus, oops, okay, and I'm running into the next question here, 2x plus, uh, sorry, 2x plus 1. And remember, you can't just do it to the numerator, 2 times x plus h plus 1, yeah, oops, sorry, plus, my mistake, I, I think I said plus, but I wrote minus there, plus the square root of 2x plus 1. Yeah, in order to rationalize, you have to multiply by the binomial conjugate, okay? And the reason we multiply by the binomial conjugate is because the middle terms will cancel, and then we're going to left with, be left with the first term squared minus the second term squared. Well, that's, that's perfect because that's going to get rid of the square roots. So this will be the limit as h approaches 0. You have to keep writing that until you actually take the limit. But when you multiply that out here, we're going to lose the, the parentheses here. So this will be 2, sorry, the, the square roots here, I should say. 2 times x plus h plus 1 minus this, whoops, I, don't, I have no idea why I wanted to write that again. I know that that goes away. 2x plus 1 all over h times, now this hasn't gone away, 2x plus h plus 1 plus the square root of 2x plus 1. Okay, now in the numerator, okay, this is still going to be the limit as h approaches 0. In the numerator, look what happens here. When I distribute that through, okay, I'm going to get 2x plus 2h plus 1 minus 2x minus 1 all over h root 2 x plus h plus 1. Whoops. Make sure that's within parentheses there. Plus the square root of 2x plus 1. Now watch what happens, and this always happens, right? The 2x cancels the 2x. The 1 cancels with the 1. I've got 2h over h. The h's are going to disappear. Now when I take the limit, okay, and let h go to 0, this h goes to 0. Now I've still got a 2 in the numerator, and I've got two of those radicals in the denominator that will be exactly the same. So 2 times 2x plus 1, because remember, the h went to 0, so just 2 times x plus 1. These 2's are going to cancel each other out. I'm left with 1 over the square root of 2x plus 1. Whoops, can't, almost can't see it. That is the derivative that we are looking for. Took a little while, but that's what we were that's what we're shooting for.